guys, Bulma here, returning from the dead with my lich, Pip. Servants, <laughs> minions, heed the call of Kel'Thuzad. <laughs> We're back with some more Hearthstone, if that wasn't enough to tell you. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. I'm very, very remiss to say right now that... I had an unsuccessful run earlier that was so close to being absolutely legendary. Oh. Just to just to give you a quick quick fallback, I won't explain the loss, but uh, the the last match before the last one, uh, I had a full board. I needed the entire board to win, or I was going to lose. He brawled me. The surviving minion was motherfucking Kel'Thuzad. <laughs> Revived my whole board and I squeaked through with a win. And then the darkness consumed us all. But. Indeed. But, uh, but to make up for it, guys, this run. Squeak. This dungeon run. If you guys have been playing this at all, you, you'll you'll get the gist of it. This is the most epic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I watch I watch other Hearthstone videos from time to time. I've been yeah. I've been watching. Uh, been around the block. I've been watching Mr. Trump's videos of his dungeon. The Hearthstone player. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> But I've been watching his videos of him doing the little dungeon runs. I'm here to say, guys, I don't mean to toot my own horn here. This is more epic than anything I've seen from anybody else. I, I, sometimes you just get that you get that game. No, so, sometimes you just gotta take the risks, and I yeah. took the risks in this one, and they paid off insanely. I'm gonna point out here, I take some time looking at all these because they're all terrible. <laughs> They're all. This is probably the worst deck I've ever drafted, in an arena run, in this little fun dungeon run. This is a terrible deck. I'm baffled that it got more than two wins. <laughs> but, but hold your horses, guys, because it's gonna get insane. Sometimes lightning just strikes. Sometimes and like. Sometimes the sometimes the lightning just hits the tree. Standing there, you're all electrocuted and fried and wondering what's going on with your life, but you know that that was sweet. Sometimes the guy from the office tells you that you're just not charring his tree. <laughs> Man, I haven't watched The Office in a while. Yeah, we, we, just, we were just watching a little Arrested Development. It's in the new, it's a joke in the new season. Sorry. <laughs> that was a little vague. <laughs> Man. Alright, all right, guys, we're totally... Going off script for this video. Yeah. We don't have our usual notes with us, kind of guiding us in a general direction of topics and smart things to say. So we'll have a spontaneous video. Yes. Tonight. So this is the daily brief with no filter. Oh, that's. That's scary as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. That's my shit. All the girls that feet like this. Oh yeah. Uh, no clapping in front of the mic. Bad Pip. Bad. Bad. Bad Pip. Uh, so we did a little more Christmas shopping tonight. Woo. Woohoo! And we're walking out through. You know, we're checking out, and we see a box of fucking nerd ropes behind yeah, the counter. Nerd ropes. Pip sees them and it's like. I don't even remember the last time I had one. Yeah, I just had to get some nerd ropes. <laughs> they just knew it. I'm like, why are they hiding them behind the counter, man? Oh, hold on real quick. Check this out. I took the gamble. He's got one health left. One shot. Pew! Oh. Oh, amazing. It was meant to be. Amazing. I love the little voice lines. In I here. love I love the voice lines when you're was it was it Kel'Thuzad? I yeah. Yeah, you show in you you show up and wh who was it? One of the one of the heroes is like uh. Oh. 
Damn it. Um, <laughs> damn it, guys. One of the interactions between one of the heroes and Kel'Thuzad. You, you come in and, and you say something about, like... You asked for it. I oh, shit. Something about, like, I, I'm gonna take back my home. I'm gonna reclaim my home or something like that. And Kel'Thuzad's like, what? You were the one who came into my house and started <laughs> killing my necropolis. <laughs> it's... I love Kel'Thuzad. I love what they did to him in Hearthstone. You know, in, in, in the... in Warcraft 3, if you're a... If you're a big old, big old Warcraft fan like... like me, or I was anyway. I don't know about it anymore. <laughs> but, uh... If you were a big one, Kel'Thuzad was great. He was so funny. I mean, he was, he was meant to be taken kind of seriously in Warcraft 3, you know. So when they had the little the ice cream shop parody, was that? And that was the frozen cone uh, with the Lich King. Oh, that was amazing. They, they were really good with some of that. Well, that was, that was a new promotional thing. That, that was amazing. That was pretty funny, I'm not going to lie. I remember when I saw that. Well, Blizzard knows how to promote things. I'm not saying anything about that. I don't know. What about that new... The, oh, that, that Hearthstone video? That was bad. God, that, that was, was like Disney. No, that was straight up a Tangled promotion. Like, what the hell were they thinking? Yeah, that's what it felt. It was. It was very cringy. I mean, now guys, maybe, maybe we're just Disney Stone. Uh, oh, okay. Fair, fair play here. I'm 28. Bulma here. 23. Is 23. So, I mean, maybe we're just a, a... I love Tangled and all that shit, though. Well, I loved it, too, but, I mean, this was bad. I'm just yeah, saying, may, maybe bad. maybe we're just a little older, or a little more jaded, or a little more cynical, whatever, so we didn't enjoy it. Don't don't let us take the piss out of you if you watched it and you were like, Whoa! I love that trailer! But, uh... And they just, like, kept showing it, kept flashing it at us, like, oh, God, every time opening up the well, like, Hearthstone. The it's, like what I, it's like what I was saying with Kel'Thuzad, he was real serious in the game, and then, and then Hearthstone, hold on, right here, <laughs> taking the, taking the big gamble. You ready? Are you guys ready for this? Gimme that Kel'Duar! <laughs> taking the hilt, going out on a limb. Will we find the blade? Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Show you my blade. Oh, yeah. Mm. But, but Kelsey's Odd in, in Hearthstone is really funny and really comical, and it's hilarious. It totally plays. <laughs> and, and this is to say that it's okay to have a tone change. You know what I mean? Yeah. This was, it was jarring. Mm -hmm. Like... I, I clicked on the video. Uh, of course, this is like months ago. You know, I don't even know how long. Uh, it was a while. Three or four. During the summer. Three, four, six months ago, somewhere in there. Okay, <laughs> kind of vague timeline. Yeah. Somewhere, sometime in the past last year. Sometime in the last year. Definitely within the last six months. Um, I don't know, guys. I clicked on it. I expected Amazing. Hearthstone, and I got tangled. <laughs> like it was weird. I didn't, I didn't care for it. Moving on. I've got a dream. Yeah, and I did not have a dream about my Hearthstone being like Disney. But that's okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, that's alright. This wasn't for me. Oh yeah. There we go. Continuing on with the worst run ever. The worst deck ever. No good cards yet. <laughs> None. We picked up this cold drink. We picked up this. We picked up this relic that reduces all the cards, all creatures in our deck that cost five or more. Cost five. Normally, that's huge. You know, you pick up a couple Lich Kings early on, a couple really big, expensive cards, and you just start dropping them on turn five. You generally win. No, the the best thing we get is a six cost minion <laughs> that is. Average at best. <laughs> nothing um, you'd go home and. Oh, nothing you'd write home about. Yeah. But we're gonna make it work. <laughs> we're gonna make it rainforest. <laughs> oh, so 
I ordered a present for my mom finally for Christmas. As, yeah, stores didn't have shit again, just like if you heard last video. <laughs> the stores be sucking. And online shopping just keep going up. Uh, got a good bike. Got a really good bike. Yeah, got a mongoose. mongoose. Little mongoose. And, um, but yeah, uh, two years ago, my mom got uh, my sisters and I each a onesie. And I never had one before. And I was like, ah, so I got a cool cat one. Uh, uh, but I was thinking, I don't think she has one. And she refuses to tell me what she wants for Christmas. She's just like, I want to see your pretty face. And I'm like, mom. No, no, get out of here with that. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> and I asked her, what, I actually, I texted her. I asked her what size she wore. And she was like, for what? And <laughs> gave me a little emoji with the blank, blank stare. <laughs> and I'll, she, so she didn't even tell me what size she was. I asked my sister. <laughs> and I got her a motherfucking... Purple unicorn onesie yep. online. It is amazing. <laughs> so the next time someone asks you what you want for Christmas, you might as well just tell them what you want. Yeah, she's lucky. Because you might just get a fucking pink unicorn onesie instead. And you know what? We're going to be like uh, homie's mom in a Christmas story. You have to wear this while I'm around. Yeah. I'm. Gonna, we're going to be aggressive as hell with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's lucky. We were gonna get her an ugly Christmas sweater. Um, I talked her out of it. I oh, they had it. It was really bad. It was a regular red sweater. Didn't have any crazy de designer pattern on it. But right in the middle was this huge, and like it was an embroidered piece, like a big piece that gets glued onto the front of the sweater. Like it looks like someone literally just took a big plastic wreath with a stuffed reindeer doll in the middle and just glued it on front of the sweater. It was hideous by hideous sweater oh, standards. Like it was something you'd see maybe one of your teachers wear back in the day <laughs> in elementary school. Like I remember the I remember the holiday get up the teachers would wear. They go all out with the earrings and the vests and stuff. Yeah. Oh this was this was bad. <laughs> I almost got it. <laughs> it's the best way to do it. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I I went the I went the safe route. <laughs> it was either that or maybe some maybe a nice bottle of wine. I know she likes to get her drink on. Ronnie, I come on. I haven't. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know for those holiday events. Yeah, for sure. Um, Unless you're under twenty one, <laughs> then you shouldn't. It's funny because you know I never I never saw drink that side of my mom before when I was younger, of course. And now that I'm old, you know, I've been old enough to drink for a few years now, and I go over there for special dinners or things like that, you know, she pulls out these nice, like, margarita cups and all this shit. I'm like, oh, shit, Mom, you gotta get down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um... Of course, there's a, another Zelda game in the makes. <laughs> oh, of course. That was um, confirmed today by the series producer, but there's no, other than that, there's no info on the game other than it's being made. I, I don't even know why that's news. Like, I they're know. making another Zelda game. I wonder, though. Really? I wonder Gosh. what kind, though, if they're going to, like. Oh, are you serious? It's going to be like another Breath of the Wild. True that. Because that game was insanely popular. It was a system seller for them, so they're going to recreate it. Yeah, I was it's, sure it's like this, guys. DS it's like game. it's like this. If you if you haven't bought it yet and you're you're on kind of on the fence, just wait for the next one. It'll be Breath of the Wild, plus extra stuff. Guaranteed, because I mean, that's the formula that Nintendo goes with. They find this. something popular and then they just add to it. This is gonna <laughs> be the new one. You know, like how I've heard in. Breath of the Wild when it's raining, it's slippier, slip, slippier, slippery, slippery. It's more slippery when you're trying to <laughs> climb up stuff. Slipperier. Like, you know, you're trying to climb up stuff in the game, and Link will be having a little slippy slide. He's be sliding down. I like that kind of. That's a cool little mechanic. Watch in the new game, you're gonna. I don't even know if this might already be in the game. I don't know some some random bullshit where. 
Oh, you didn't go outside with the sunscreen on. Link got a sunburn, and now you gotta lay down for a couple days. You know? I, I highly <laughs> doubt they'll go that far with it. But, uh... It's just some other random, you know, really there, detailed shit. There's a point when you're in game design. I mean, it, guys, bear in mind, I've never made a game, okay? I, I, I watch a lot of videos. I, I like to think I'm relatively in the know. Uh, as it were, I feel like I can hold a conversation about it. But uh, in game design, there's a point where realism will hurt your overall game experience. And so these things are removed or dumbed down or made more streamlined in order to boost your gaming experience. Holy shit. And, and something like getting a fucking getting a sunburn <laughs> would be the most monotonous thing in the universe. Right. <laughs> I couldn't even handle it. Like, I, I like games that kind of do that micromanagey crap to some degree. But, uh, there's a level that definitely goes too far. There's a bridge too far there somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, that's, and that's for me. I'm Dragon a Ball Italian. Fighters news. Uh oh. Uh, there is going to be an open beta January 14th for Dragon Ball Fighters. I told I told you. I said that and you were like it already happened. No, there's yeah, there's I did <laughs> this is um I don't know. This was, I just saw this today. This was yeah. posted today. Yeah. Um, I said this. Well, here it is confirmed. It's got details. Confirmed. Uh, yeah, there's open beta instead of like last time when they did it. I believe that wasn't an open beta because I heard uh, a lot of people saying that they didn't get accepted for it. A closed beta. Um, a closed beta. Yeah, so there's. Oh, that's awesome. I, I don't care about all this pre order bullshit. I, I believe, but you yeah, can I hop on it early. I believe that's. I believe you have to pre order it to get into the open beta. Yeah, there's, if you pre-order so, I mean, So, I mean, I want to just ask you guys, is that really an open beta? Oh, no. If, if you, you have to pre-order it? If you pre-order it, you can jump on a day early, but it's open. Oh, for. but the open beta is yes. just open. Open beta, but if you have pre-ordered it, then you can hop on a day early. That's what you get. And also, you get Super Saiyan, Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Uh, uh, they better be included in the game and not like with Xenoverse 1 where I pre-ordered it and I got Gogeta or something and then it's just blocked off if you didn't pre-order it. Remember uh, how? I mean, unless I'm very much mistaken, I the season pass is $40 for eight characters. I don't know about that. Jeez. I don't know about that. But, uh... Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, yes. Um, just um, continuing on with the, the beta. It, yeah. Unlike the last one that was closed, this one's completely open. You might need a PlayStation Plus account. I don't think it, it, there's, it doesn't say yet. You, on, you, mm, it says it will be open be to shocked. all players. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked but, if you don't need a PlayStation yeah, Plus Yeah, it says account. presumably um, you will need it. But it begins at 12 a.m. Pacific time, 3 a.m. Eastern time, and runs until the same times on January 16th. Rock on. Cool. Well, guys, hop on. Let's let's yeah. play some fighters. Woo! Let's play some yeah. Dragon Ball fighters. Yeah, I heard that there were some more characters that came out with, but they're all from Super, like Super Saiyan Rose. I don't care. But he's out there. He's going to be in the game. I super don't care. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> Especially the Rosé. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing about these DLC characters. If they're going to... If it's going to be legit... Guys, I want to point this out real quick, real fast. We just got the treasure room. I've never seen this before. <laughs> you kill these things, and then you get one of the treasures. Like, you know, the, the really good ones added to your deck permanently. I just top decked a Doomsayer and got them all. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this deck just became insane. <laughs> that's not, that's not a valid 
And now I can't even do anything. Now we just have to sit here for three turns. Jeez. Yeah, like, holy crap. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it gets better, guys. It gets even better. You th you're probably sitting at home going, Wow, that must have been what he was talking about when he was talking about the most epic run ever. Oh, no. Oh, no. For thou hast not seen <laughs> nothing. Oh, For you... thou hast not seen a thing. Did you hear about this? Um... Justin Roiland and the Stanley Parable creators making a VR game. Did you hear about that? Possibly? What's it called? Um, it's called Accounting. It said the original game released in 2016. I'm guessing it was on... I don't know if it was for... I'm gonna be real, there's only one VR game that I'm even remotely interested in. And it's that one where you get Gorn. to like... Yeah, Gorn. Gorn. The game looks awesome. That game single-handedly makes me consider buying a VR setup. Oh yeah, like this game it sounds like something I wouldn't mind playing if it was if it was just like, you know, a PC game cuz you know, we don't have a VR and I'm not entirely interested in getting one yet. It's not I don't think this is really the time to get them, you know. Wait till they're I don't know, give them some more time to work on them, yeah. and yeah, well, they're work really on, expensive. Work just, on the tech, man. work on the tech, come back here in six years or so, guys, when it's yeah. like... I can wait. When you put in the time and effort, and this is some, you know... I don't know, personally, I'm ready to wait until we're at some, like, uh, full body immersion level shit. Yeah. You know, I'm Matrix ready. Matrix level. I'm, oh, I'm ready for that. <laughs> you guys don't show. even know. You guys don't even know. I don't even know. I'm ready to find out. <laughs> Yo, but this game sounds awesome, actually. Um, the yeah, accounting what's it about? game. What's it's it about? Talk to us. It's a funny, it's supposed to be a funny, like, really strange game where you're playing an accountant and you're just going through several different VR worlds where you can interact with, it says, foul-mouthed tree people and talking skeletons. All while learning to be a better accountant. <laughs> and maybe I can figure out how to post some pictures or I can share them on the page with you guys if you're interested in seeing some pictures from this. It looks hilarious. This seems like <laughs> I, something. Justin Roiland and. Yeah, this seems like something that Justin Roiland would be attached to. And, you know, I haven't played Stanley Parables, but. Yeah, I've seen Let's Plays of it, and I love the humor in it, so I think this would be a really good pair between them. Like, just look at this face. <laughs> that is a face. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to share. I'll figure out how to <laughs> share that with you guys. But, interesting little game. If you guys have VR, I guess check it out. Let us if know. Got, if you guys have VR, go play Gorn. <laughs> go play Gorn. That looks just like the best game ever. You just slaughter barbarian <laughs> scum. Yeah, the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. Like Coliseum, these big beep beep meathead guys run out and you just... They're so ridiculous. It's great, and you just, like, you get different weapons and you can just... You just kill them. <laughs> you just kill them. Like, you rip their arms off and beat them to death with it. And it... Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even, Becky. Oh, gosh. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I'm waiting for some mods in the future, you know, you got some, some ass hat that you work with, you don't really care for, you go and you just mod his face in there, so you're just spending the whole rest of your evening ripping off the arm of your rival and beating him over the head with it. Oh, oh I showed my aggressive side, I think. <laughs> um, I'm sure by the time this video goes oh. up and you guys... Oh. What, all your bad cards? No, guys. You get a good one? We just got the blade of Kelduar. Uh, it happened. Mm -mm. Our, que mm -mm. our quest to be the ultimate. Ultimate Tomb Raider has paid off. <laughs> Arch Thief Rafam has nothing. <laughs> Uh-oh. But we're going against King Trogwoggle. He wants his treasure back. Uh. Oh, yeah. But guys, I don't know. I've never forged this thing before now. 
So you get to find out what it does if you haven't already seen. Silent slave. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> again, I just wanted to remind you guys if you forgot or didn't check out one of the previous videos, I believe it was The Binding of Isaac, we talked about it. Um, this Friday will be the Monster Hunter World Beta again, and this one's open for everybody. Woo! And like I said, I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes up, it'll be Wednesday already. So yeah, two more days, guys. Monster Hunter World Beta. And again, that kicks off 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Don't need um... PlayStation Plus. More Monster Hunter World on Friday. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, if you already played it, uh, it's just going to be the same. So, I mean, if you want to, if you loved it and want to go back and play some more beta before it comes out, get some more hype in. There you go. Get a little more used to everything. But I'm already sold. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm completely sold. At, the, at this point, I'm just ready for the full release. Mm. Oh, look at that. That total despair Amazing. just pulled the doomsayer out from the top of the deck. <laughs> oh, there goes my board. <laughs> but it's okay. Are you ready for this, guys? My mind was blown. He just played the boots of haste. <laughs> and then didn't play anything. No, what is that? The boot, all his minions cost zero that turn, but he okay. didn't play anything because I had the Doomsayer out. Yeah. Which just blows up everything on the next turn, the beginning of my turn. So, for some reason, he just wasted the spell. Don't know why. Huh. And now I'm sitting here holding the, the Kelduar in my hand. It deals six damage and then six damage to everything, including him. So it's basically 12 damage a turn. And I can swing six times. For a grand total of math, people, I believe it's 70 damage off the top of my head. I'm <laughs> bad with math. It's been a while. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's enough to just kill him just by swinging at his face six times. You take four. Hold on, I feel dumb now. Ooh. That is not 70. It's 12 times six. 12 times six. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Stop. Here at the daily stop. Brief. No, stop. It's seven, yeah. 72. Yeah, you were right. No, I said 70, but it's that's 72. Not, that's not far off, though. <laughs> 70 and 72? It's not far off, but the fact. Fine. You shouldn't be getting basic math wrong. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Bad, Pip. Shame. I guess I get that. Shame. Mad. For me. Shame <laughs> for me. <laughs> Alright, see, so now we just equip this thing and we start tearing into him. It's game over from here. I haven't heard about this because I don't, haven't played, I paid attention to Final Fantasy in quite a while. Did you hear? I didn't know there's a Final Fantasy fighting game. What? There's a PS4 Final Fantasy fighting game. What's it called? Um. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT it comes in early 2018 and there is an open beta next month. Hmm. Um, the beta begins January 12th and runs until January 21st. And it will be available to all PS4 owners. Um, says you presumably will need a PS4 Plus subscription. Yes, uh, I've Interesting. Let me take a look at this. I uh, haven't I mean, heard, heard of that. I guess we'll check it out when it comes, but that sounds exceptionally weird. I, yeah, like... Countered that ice wall with a meteor by the way. Bruh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I see, like, Sephiroth here, right? Sephiroth and Lightning, I believe? It, I don't know, guys. I don't know how sold I am on the idea of a Final Fantasy fighting game. Sounds kind of, uh, what's the word? <laughs> From the tip of my tongue. N niche. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't we'll think that's a... the right word, but... I guess we'll give it a try. January 12th. Oh, and... get wrecked, son. Zzz. 
post some of that. If you guys would be interested, we can uh, post some content of that. Oh, yeah. Next month. I guess. I guess. Just to check it out. I mean, we're not super hyped. Yeah. We're not Monster yeah. World levels of hype here about this. Check it out. Free beta. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Free beta. Cool. Might be good. I'm open to it being good. Oh, boy. Well... I guess we're going to start winding down here. Sorry if this episode was a little more uh, free-flowy than normal, or if it's just the same amount of normal, you know... Man. Or if it's just the, s the normal amount of... Nonsense bouncing around, talking about whatever that you've come to expect. Rock on. <laughs> Feels different without a notepad. <laughs> it does. I don't like it. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, guys, um, while we do a quick scroll here through the cards that won us the game, if you'll notice, there's nothing good here. <laughs> not this one. Not this one. I, I mean, the treasures that we picked up. <laughs> but other than that, they're just trash. <laughs> well, All thanks right, for guys. checking out the video, guys. We'll see you next time with daily uploads on the Daily Brief. See ya! Wow. <laughs>